Previously on Steins Gate Zero. Where? Japanese German girl, uh, Dokoni Irundai, Rintaro. Rintaro! <laughs> Holy shit, I can hear how weird his accent was there. Holy cow! So I said we should come soon. <laughs> Absol yeah, absolutely an American. Absolutely. Just spot on English. Uh, holy cow! Wow! Wow, what a start! This is just what I wanted to see! And now back to the fucked up history. Hey! B! Back with some more Steins Gate Zero. When we last left off, nothing but fun and fan service goodness until shit went hits the fucking fan, right? Oh my god! I knew I was like, man, there were. They were laying down some good old quality happy times, and I was like, this is not gonna last long. This is not gonna last. Fool me once, Steins Gate. Oh, man, they didn't even wait this time. They didn't even wait for that shit to settle before going, yeah, okay, let's go ahead and bring the guys with guns in. But yeah, so they're after uh, Kagari, which is not surprising. I do think these are gonna, this is, this is probably gonna be related to what the crazy religious fanatics were, right? I, I feel like the fact that they're hiding this woman's face, it means it's actually more than likely not going to be Moeka at this time. Because, I mean, what what purpose would it serve to do that, right? Uh, I think it's it's meant as a misdirection, like, for Okabe to be like, it's gotta be uh, Moeka again. But I think this time, I... I, the only other woman I could think that would actually be under that helmet uh, would be um, uh, the Dr. Reyes lady, right? Also makes me think, if that's the case, then wouldn't uh, Leskinen also possibly be involved in this? I still think Leskinen is going to end up being a bad guy, honestly. Unless we're suggesting it was Yuki, but I, I kind of doubt that. I sincerely doubt she just say she had some place she needed to be. That place was getting ready to fucking run into Miyuri's place and kidnap people. But yeah, I... I Sincerely doubt that. I don't think they're gonna try to turn Yuki, Ama Yuki into a bad guy. Otherwise, I really can't kill my chances of my fucking existence. But yeah, so you guys told me some amazing things. First off, and more importantly, speaking of Leskinen, you guys told me, yes, that's right. Fucking memes, baby. So yes, the the scene where Dr. Leskinen is uh, saying, uh, where are the shaman goes, Lintaro? Has become a meme in like the Steinsgate community. Holy shit, and I wish... <laughs> <laughs> I was, it was pretty good. I remember when we first said that, I thought, like, his his accent for that, it was so fucking weird. I could totally see why it became a meme. But you guys also showed me, also, in the anime, it made it even funnier, because his reaction to uh, Akabe telling him that, uh, oh, the, the, the shrine girls are, are, are done for the day or something, like, he looked so, like, fucked up after that. Like, no, I have failed. <laughs> Let's seriously look at his face. Like how serious he is. Like, like his world is fucking destroyed after this. And then he follows up with that other great line. Holy cow! I just said we should come a long time. Or so. you know what, Doctor Leskin reminds me of? He reminds me of fucking Tommy Wiseau from the freaking room. I swear to God, you could replace Leskin in with Tommy in that movie, and nothing would fucking change. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Rintaro. One of them found out about it, beat her up so bad she ended up in a hospital on Guerrero Street. <laughs> Holy cow! Ah, uh, that's a good one, though. That's a good goddamn meme. So some fu some funny uh, examples of it, too. Like, there was, like, one where, like, Leskinen is, like, holding a baby, and he's like, Okay, Lintalo, say daddy. And then the baby says daddy. He's like, good, Lintalo. Now, tell me, where the shaman goes, Lintalo? And the little baby's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Where the shaman goes? But anyway, last episode, uh, Suleiman Muiz E. Defitri said, Okabe in Alpha World Line. <laughs> I'm a mad scientist, said while striking pose. It's so cool, son of a bitch. Okabe in Beta World Line. I'm sad scientist. Walks in the rain with an umbrella while Boulevard of Broken Dreams plays their headphones. It's so gloomy, son of a bitch. Okabe in Gamma World Line. I'm a bad scientist. Tears Daru Wedgie. It's so mean, son of a bitch. <laughs> Okabe in the Delta World Line. I'm a rad scientist. Start surfing the ocean. It's so gnarly, son of a bitch! Okabe and Epsilon World Line. I'm a dad scientist. Crying babies and Karisu and Miyuri calling for Okabe heard in the background. It's so tiring, son of a bitch! Ah, <laughs> uh, well fucking done, Zuleiman. That was that was a clever comment. I'm, I'm proud of you. That's a lot. At, at some point, right? There's just gotta be a, an end to the freaky number of world lines. I would think so. Cause we're gonna run out of fucking great letters at this rate. Be honest, that whole uh, is so cool, son of a bitch. I don't even like. I see people bring that up, but I actually don't remember that at all from the last game. I'm, I'm sure it was in there at some point, but I don't remember like them saying it very much or like ever. But I see people say it and reference it all the time, and I, I just kind of like 
When did they say that? I don't remember. Maybe it was in the anime and not the, the game. I, I just genuinely do not remember that line. But Suleiman, your hilarious comment is the reason why you are <coughs> comment of the day. Oh, by the way, you guys did also explain that uh, the amnesia thing, I was sort of like, I was like, is that really a thing? Apparently, it actually is fairly common. And uh, Kamina Girl did a uh, good job explaining this. She said that there are two types of memories, declarative memory, facts and episodes of life, and procedural memory, how to do things like ride a bike. In most cases of retrograde amnesia, amnesia where you forget events before the cause of the amnesia, people only forget their declarative memory, but not their procedural memory. For example, you can ride a bike, but you won't remember how you learned to ride the bike. Very interesting. Thank you so much for sharing that, Kamina. I did have some psychology classes, but we never really talked too much about uh, amnesia, so that's uh, that's really cool. <laughs> I mean, unfortunate for anyone who actually has to suffer that. But okay, so we got attacked last episode. Now we're on high alert. At least fortunately, nobody died, and we didn't lose Kagari either. But uh, now we are going to have to make sure that uh, nothing else happens, which means that uh, Kagari's going to be sticking around the shrine where there's at least a decent amount of security. All right, so we seem to have switched perspectives now over to, to Luca here. Uh, Luca uh, Urashiabara was sad. He'd been sad for a long, long time. It'd been a long time since he'd met Rintaro Kabe, become friends, and began to visit the future gadget lab. Itaro Ishida, his classmate, Miyuri Shina, and the other lab members all treated him as a friend. That by itself made him happy. He was just an ordinary shy boy and they accepted him anyway. He was very grateful for that. But still, he'd always felt like he was being left out. He knew they were hiding something from him that made him sad. But what made him sadder was that he couldn't bring himself to ask them about it. Oh. Oh, I can sense you're awake. I'm gonna uh, keep an eye out for any uh, murderers, you know. So this guy. So this guy. Even Luca could tell that a lot meant she was thinking about what happened today. The New Year's party. The mysterious men who'd burst into the lab. They were holding guns. Not plastic model guns. Real guns. From Luca's perspective, it was a mystery how they'd even gotten into Japan. But they were real anyway. They had real guns in their hands and they pointed them at him and the others. It hadn't seemed real then, but now the very thought made him shiver. If any of them had squeezed their index fingers just a little, he, Luca, wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> Kagurishina moaned softly in her sleep. She must have been really tired after everything that had happened today. She had gone to sleep almost immediately after she laid down, and her short breaths had soon changed into moans. Aww. It's okay, Miyoshi's here. You got a, now a young, fresh mama. Was she dreaming of her mother? Mama. Mayuri. Mama. Oh. oh. Okay, now Luka's really confused. Even that didn't surprise Luka much. She started calling out that name in her sleep several days ago. Kagari Shina, Miri Shina. At first, she's, she just thought it was a coincidence that they had the same last name, but. Uh. Uh, you mind explaining that to me, Suzu? Nope! That's what I thought. He almost spoke, then stopped. There was so much he wanted to ask, but couldn't. He wanted courage. Just a little. The curse asked them to tell him. <laughs> He reached under his pillow and felt something hard. It was a cheap toy sword, the kind you could buy at, an, at any store, but still, it was his treasure. Aww. He held the tilt tight. <laughs> Zua sat up and looked straight at him. He was only barely able to stop himself from looking away. If he did, he wouldn't be able to ask anything. He touched the toy sword once more and slowly opened his mouth to speak. Aw, oh, that's so cute. That's so fucking cute. So the, the sword, you know, the, the whole thing that Okabe was doing with him, you know, gave him courage, right? Sort of brought, helped get him out of his shell a bit. And so he sort of cherishes it. Aw, all these girls and boys sure do love Okabe. Amane-san-wa... Uh, どうして岡部さんのこと? 
Cause I found the future. どうしてマユリちゃんのことマユ姉さんって呼ぶんですか？どうしてフェリスさんのことルミ姉さんって呼ぶんですか？ Well, might as well tell you. I pretty much told everybody else by this point. 僕のこと、ルカ兄さんって呼ぶんですか？マユリママって、マユリちゃんのことですよね。どうしてカガリさんがマユリママなんて言うんですか？私の言えたぎりじゃないってことは分かってる。でも知らない方がいいと思う。そうやって、僕はまたカヤの外なんですか。僕だって知りたいです。僕だって皆さんと同じ悩みを共有したいんです。Don't lie to me. I've got a sword. ルカ兄さん、教えてもらえませんか。She looked him straight in the eye for a moment, silently. Lucas simply waited. オカリンおじさんがさ、ルカ兄さんに事情を言わない理由、私なんとなくわかる気がするんだ。理由ですか。ルカ兄さんには純粋にこの世界の人でいてほしいんだよ。ルカ兄さんだけは今という時間の存在でいてほしいんだ。それが。It's not opening Pandora's box with its poisonous knowledge. That, that doesn't make any sense. Now that she told him that, he couldn't ask any more questions. Did Rintaro Akabe really think that? He didn't even know. In the end, he would never know anything, and that only made him sadder. Oh, what the fuck! The next day after the attack, I arrived just a little before I was supposed to, but the person I was meeting was already there. Hey, we didn't do the little panning shot of my face to indicate that we'd switch back to me. They were like, "Ah,、oh, whatever." That was only a two-second segment anyway. We're back to me. You already figured this out. Oh, this is the first time we've met at、uh, May Queen since、uh, we started this LP. I sip some fresh coffee as I observe the person in front of me. Wake up, cutie! Cutie! She was as expressionless as ever. There was no way to tell what she was thinking. Oh, girl on the motorcycle suit yesterday. She blocked Zua's kick with her arm. Zua had told me later that her kick had landed pretty hard, and whoever had hit it had probably gotten hurt. If that was Moeka. Yep, just grab her arm or smack her arm or something. So. But I still didn't know if Moeka was innocent. Ah, Hidari no Udeno Sodeo Makutemo Raitai. Do it or die. Dust Dameka. Moika sighs if she were annoyed. She didn't seem upset or worried at all. Yeah, it's not gonna be her. Oh, Okari, Okari, big trouble. What's up? Can it wait? So I can't help with that. What's up? You remember what happened yesterday, right? Where we almost got murdered. So I was just talking with Nai on Rhine, and then she told me about her dreams for the future. Nai's dreams, huh? What were they? First one, she wants to get get good at badminton. You said first. Does that mean there's a second? Second, she wants to get good at fighting games. <laughs> Kawaii, that's it. Third. <gasps> Nani. She wants to decorate the frontier workshop so it looks pretty. Yay! Fourth, she wants a telescope. Is that a dream? She says lately she like she's liked looking at the stars. She must have gotten it from you. 
Are you jelly, Ocarine? She must, she seems like she's interested in space. Not so strong. She's a very strong girl. You're right. Oh, yeah, she's okay too. Ha! I hope so. Don't die again, please. And that made me worried. Why was she so calm? Look up, rolled up her sleeve like I asked her to. Her skin with a, was a deathly pale white. There was nothing else. There were no bruises, no traces of her trying to hide something with foundation. Of course, there was also no bandages. <laughs> Waka tilted her head just a little and rolls her sleeve back down. The girl in the motorcycle suit wasn't Moeka. This wasn't a big surprise. I'd already assumed that she wasn't. Come to think of it, Moika knew that Kagura Shino was with us a long time ago. Hmm. Ah. Uh, there's no need to attack with so many when so many people were around. Moika had nothing to do with this, knowing that for sure it was progress. But that left me with a new problem. Who was the woman in the motorcycle suit then? I'm good, I'm glad we figured that out like quickly. In order to allay Moika's suspicions, I asked her to, for a report on her research and told her to keep it up. And then I said goodbye and headed to my next destination. This was my next destination. It took real dedication to open a store like this on the 2nd of January. I took a deep breath, steeled myself, and went inside. Oh, we're going to the Brown Tube Workshop. Here we go. Oh! Ah, oh, so many CRTs! It hurts! Hmm. About goddamn time! It's not like he was waiting for me. Denoji had been really pushing about last night, so I told him I'd explain today. It was sold us from the future! Denoji always looked angry, but now he looked even more pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> それ一体どういう意味だ。なんで俺があんな連中を面倒くにやんなきゃならねえ。わかりませんか。わかるわけねえだろ、そんなもん。それは。I checked to see that Nai was nearby before I spoke. あなたがラウンダーだからですよ。ミスターフェルディナントブラウン。ファーディナンド。FBと呼んだ方がいいですか。Oh, wow, he's, he's just going straight at him with that. I would have thought he'd actually want to not say that around uh, Nye. Ferdinand de Brun. Carl Ferdinand Braun, 1850-1918, German. Winner of the 1909 Nobel Prize in Physics, inventor of the Braun Tube. That was just his his surname. <laughs> oh, you're going to die now, man. Actually, I guess maybe he was doing it because he wants, not, wants him not to... Like, attack him while knives around, right? His expression quickly turned blank. Timmy. Nai must have sensed the change in her dad's mood, because she turned towards him. Daddy's just gonna kill Ocarine here, right, Ocarine? Yep, that's right. Go over there now. Wait, wait. No, no, go back. Ah, ah. You come here, Lo. Mm. Now I still seemed concerned, but did as she was told and sat in the chair in front of the CR TV. The TV was playing a New Year's comedy program. <laughs> Denoji said nothing, but motioned for me to sit in a chair away from her. Instead of his usual yelling, he was ice cold. I started sweating despite the winter chill. But now that I brought it up, I was too late to do anything about it. Freaking ballsy, <laughs> oh, Ocarine. I sat down in the small seat, legs tense. I was ready to run at any moment. Omei, <laughs> Nanda, 
Uh, SNS social ne networking service. Of course. <laughs> His eyes felt like they were boring a hole in me. <laughs> ah, he's looking too hard at me! Ah! They were completely different from the eyes of the ordinary Tenuji I knew. They were the eyes of a killer. A cold killer who wasn't even trying to hide his murderous intent. <laughs> Don't let him intimidate you. You're on control here. Kikazoya. <laughs> This man were for CERN. He was a rounder. What those rounders did to me in the other world line. I would never forget that. But Tenoji probably didn't work for CERN willingly. He probably had his reasons. At least, that's how it had felt in the Alpha world line. Of course, the Beta world line might be different. In this world, he'd never met S Suzu Ashida. How much of an effect had that, that had on his life? I didn't know. Tenoji was staring at me and not moving a muscle. Depending on what I said, he was ready to kill me without a word. That's what his body language seemed to convey. Right in front of his dear old daughter. Fine, I'll tell you then. Let's see if you believe it. Am I sure I should be telling him this? <laughs> I mean, really? I mean, because this is what Sir was getting after us about, right? Do I want them coming after us again? Hey boss, this guy said he knew all about time travel and shit. Really? Well then you better go and murder his goofy little girlfriend. The one with the blue hat? Yeah, that one. Okay. Damn it, why did I tell him? I thought you said that. I don't have to believe it. I'm not going to believe it. I'm going to be there. I'm you admit it. I told you I was a fucking mad scientist. I can see the future. By making Tenoji admit who he really was, I assume I'd won the first round of this conversation. This is when things got hard. Cern had always ensured that the rounders died. And then they'd killed, killed Miyuri too. He slowly stood up. But I managed to squeak out the words. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do. Pulls out a gun. Bye, oh great! No, no, no! Oh god, and then cra then Nye turns crazy, goes and murders Miuri and Malika and fucking everybody, and I'm just like, ah! I just can't win! Kibinda <laughs> na. Tenoji's face was right in front of me. Oh god. His green eyes were boring into me, and I could I couldn't even move. <笑>別に俺はセルンからIBへの5100とやろうを探せとも言われてねえし、おめえらを連れてこいとも言われてねえ。言われてねえことはする必要がねえってことだ。俺がラウンダーだったことも。I'll have to blow my damn brains out. Tenoji was looking past me toward Nai, who was still watching TV. His eyes had changed from those of a beast to those of a parent. Tenoji silently waited for me to continue. 
ゆうべ狙われた女性を守ってやってほしいあの嬢ちゃんは誰になぜ狙われてるわかりませんそれじゃあそんな話は受けられねえな娘を巻き込みたくないからですかわかってんじゃねえかだったら最初からそんな話すんじゃねえよすでに一度巻き込まれているじゃないですか昨日のようなことが今後ないとでも苗を人質にしてるつもりか殺すぞてめえ Oh shit you dare talk about my local <笑> Stay calm lose it here and it's all over 協力し合おうと言っているんですよ<笑>協力ねえこっちにデメリットしかねえじゃねえかそんなことないよ。Oh! Zua came into the store along with. すみません。Oh, are they like outside listening to all this? かがり。Oh. <laughs> I sound surprised, so I guess I didn't know they were there. すずは話を聞いてたのか。Good timing! I need a, I need a wingman here! Zua nodded. たとえば。私とカガリをバイトとしてここに置いてもらえれば、目を離さなくてもよくなる。ああ、ちょ、just like the good old days。in another fucking timeline。true。it's close to the lab and probably safer。you can protect them while protecting Nai。おめえらがこのビルから出てく方が手っ取り早いな。そしたら、これやないが巻き込まれることもなくなる。Be fast if I just、uh, kill all three of you right here, honestly. Be way easier to hide the dead bodies, too. I'll just stick it inside one of my CRTs. Anata t a t i o y a k o a Kino, Osotikta Renchu no Kao Miteiru. Sorega Nani o Imi Sirka. Wakara Nai Waka Janai Hazu. I like to see you t r o l man! Hmm. There's a chance they might try to kill everyone who saw their faces. Atashiwa Sento no Kaken Garu. Juma Tskaidu. あなたも昨日見てたはず。See, my hot cake was awesome, right? Boo! だから、それなりに役には立てる。ドノジ rubbed his temples and thought for a moment, but. Oh! Oh, sir! Now I've been watching TV the whole time, suddenly interrupted. 私、よくわかんないけど、昨日みたいなことは。怖いからもう嫌だな。ない。お父さんが守ってくれてすごく嬉しかったけど、お父さんが私を守るために無茶して怪我するかもって想像したらもっと怖くなった。I was really happy when he came out and closed on that one dude。鈴葉お姉ちゃんは。すごく強いし昨日も私のことかばってくれてたよ Did I understand what we were, we were saying? 私はお姉ちゃんたちと一緒がいいな Dirty scratch his head and spoke uh, brusquely 言っとくがバイト代は2人で1人分だからな<笑> There it is 渋いね文句があるならいいんだぜ You're cold, true, dickhead. Don't touch my CRTs, alright? They're fucking relics of a golden age. Aw. Now I give her dad a hug. This is a good sign. j o j i was on our side, I could probably keep Kagri safe. Wow. Damn, good on you, man. Good job, Okabe. This is not my fault. I know, I know. You hate my guts and you want to murder me, I know. And I was already happily chattering away at Kagri and Shizua. As to notice you watched, his eyes were those of a father again. Ma, Kotcha, so you got on his tear creo. Ogabi, Omewa, Lenchunga, Nanimon Nanoka, Tsukitomero. Janeto, Taisakmo, Uchioganezo, Wakatana. Wakarimasa. 
So just like, I, I thought maybe he was going to ask him if they had anything to do with it, but I, I suppose he, he knew. No, there's no way. There's no way it would have anything to do with something that would put Nye in danger, which, of course, it was one thing to say it, but honestly, I had no clues at all. I turned to go upstairs to the lab when Tonoji seemed to remember something. K6205 K6205 They were calling that out, I guess, like, what is that, like a, like a code for, like, form of action or something? K6205, some kind of code. Ah! <laughs> five How very, how very Japanesey. How very Englishy. Oh. oh, phonetic code. A method of pro pronouncing letters used to avoid being misunderstood on wireless channels. Hmm, okay. Guntai? The Americans! They're attacking! Okay. Came straight up to the lab where most of the people who were here yesterday had gathered. Ma was busy with a with a problem Amadeus was having, and she was the only one who couldn't come. Again, though, that, that doesn't seem like it was a coincidence either, though, right? That that the problem Amadeus was having, uh, I'm guessing that probably relates to what happened last night, where she suddenly just cut off right before the guys stormed in there. So, hmm. Could it be that, like, some guys that, like, Dr. Leskinen... Like, do if Dr. Leskinen maybe was partially responsible for this, right? Maybe he shut down Kagari so that they couldn't be tracked or, or something. Or, Ka or no, not Ka I'm sorry, not Kagari, uh, Karisu. Um, or maybe it's so that Karisu didn't see what happened when they rushed in there. So, <laughs> Maybe they were, they were right. Whoever they were, it was hard to imagine them starting something in Akihabara, Japan, in the middle of the day. We all need machine guns! Especially you, Mirai! Yay! Jutaro! Jutaro! Yuki wasn't here during the attack, but she'd come to see how we were doing. That was true. Nobody lived in a normal life would ever see it. That's what normal meant. ファイルケイ。皆さんの顔が見れて安心しました。でもまだ油断は禁物なので気をつけてください。お、危ない。今日もスルーとしてウォークパスミ。グラブ、あ、あ、あ、あ。アグラブトアームとホールドアップ。What
何もないところで転んじゃったんですよ本当、ドジで嫌になっちゃいます気をつけてねユキさんうんありがとうそれじゃあ皆さんもお気をつけて<笑> Wait a minute lift up, lift up your sleeve I, I recognize that footmark anywhere It matches my foot exactly Go down Yuki The door closed and I can hear footsteps trail off into the distance. I really hope that Okabe doesn't just blow this off. Two days of work in a row right after New Year's, huh? <laughs> the way she hurt her arm. Alright, good. It was the left arm. Same place the woman in the motorcycle suit had gotten hit. But there was no way. Or was there? <laughs> 昨日のあの出来事について説明してもらっていいですか ?Fubuki was a little more chipper than Miyuri and Luka. She and Kaede had gone shopping and so they'd missed the attack. That's probably why. They were lucky not to have encountered any of the escaping attackers. そうだな。じゃあまず。Dara and I spent hours discussing how much to tell them. After all that, I couldn't just play it off like nothing had happened. The only ones here who knew about the Tamashi were Daru, Ferris, and Mi Miyuri. Is it okay to tell Luka, Fubuki, and Kaede? And then Maho. If she knew that Kurisu would complete a Tamashi theory, she'd definitely be interested. In the end, the conclusion I come up with was... <laughs> nope! ということなんだ. Zumari... カガリさんは記憶を失っている間に何らかの犯罪に巻き込まれたかもしれないってこと Some sort of drug ring! It's crazy! おそらくな。だから、ね、どうして警察に言わないんですかそれは、その、彼女がひどく怯えるんだ。警察のことをね。The Popo! もしかしたら、警察もその犯罪に関係しているのかもしれない。The city's corrupt. Of course it doesn't. It's a lie. I was basically telling them and I didn't know anything. But even if I was hiding a lot of truth, the fact remained that it was mostly correct. あの状況なら僕らのうち誰かを人質に取ることだってできたはずなんです。ああ、でも、彼女は彼女の話を聞いたことがあるので、彼女は彼女の話を聞いたことがあるので、彼女は彼女の話を聞いたことがあるので、彼女は彼女の話を聞いたことがあるので、彼女は彼女の話を聞いたことがあるので、彼女は彼女の話を聞いたことがあるので、彼女は彼女の話を聞いたことがあるので、彼女は彼女の話を聞いたことがあるので、彼女は彼俺たちさえおとなしくしていればきっと安全なはずだ。That was the lie. Just like Suzuo had said earlier, there was a good chance they might come after us because we'd seen their faces. But it wasn't smart to say that and worry everyone. だから、中瀬さんや来島さんはしばらくここに来ない方がいい。でも、かがりさんはどうするんですかそれはもう手は打ってやる。ボディーガードをつけた。ボディーガードですかバディーガード昨日あの連中を撃退した心強い二人をなスズさんと店長さんだねあああのムキムキおじさん the guy with the huge guns. でもそれだとまたいつ襲われるかもしれないって怯え続けることに I was right Just playing defense wouldn't solve anything. That's right. Of course, more than half of that was lies again. If I went to the police or detective, they wouldn't believe me about Kagari being a time traveler. But what was important now was calming everyone down. From there, I'd have to solve things myself. To be honest, I was sick of living in the middle of a conspiracy theory, but it was the only way I could get my everyday life back. Daniel, 
ってオカリン聞いてるにゃねああすまない何の話だ昨日の件黒木にも伝えておいてにゃ Sorry, I was busy narrating myself again. Akiba Kaiwa de Nanika Okashina Goki Gatara, Suguni Lenakuka Kurte Hatunya. Soka. Yes, you're a super butler. Ato, Jikeda no Mimawari mo Kyoka Ste Moranya. Kore de Shibarakua, Hena Goki wa Dekina Hatunya. My butler is Hunter Hunter Levels of Awesome. Ariato, Felis Tascario. Oh, yes, you go on ya. あの、僕にも何か手伝えることありませんかカガリさんが大変なのに、僕、何もできなくて、岡部さんの力にもなれないなんて、そんなの。マユシーも、カガリさんのために何かしたいな。Yeah. You know, the best thing you can do, Miuri, is not die. でも、私たちにできることなんてあるのかなそれは。Everyone fell silent. Even after all that had happened to them, they still wanted to help. But I couldn't let them be in danger. And then I remembered what Tanoji had said. K6205. なんぞそれ昨日の連中が口にしていたらしいんだが、俺にも。何のことだかわからないんだちょいまっち今ググってみる<笑> Ah yes of course Goggle Everybody's favorite search engine Net slang To search on the internet Right Right Goggle I should have called it Doodle Or Booga Or Hooli Dooli Booli I opened the browser and quickly typed it in Hmm I'm seeing product IDs for some good porn. Doji said they might be military. So it might be a military code, which meant there was nothing we could do. I was hoping there might be some clue, but really, they're not like military codes on the internet? I thought they had everything on the internet. Oh. Kurushima-san, <laughs> What's that? Ke hel bangol te nani? Mozart no kyok ni tsukerareta bangol no koto yo. Mozart ga nakunatta ato ni ke hel te yu hito ga jikeiretsu ni awasete tsuketa bangol nan da kedo. Oh. Demo, sasuga no Mozart demo 6000 ban dai made wa sonzai shinai hazu desu shi, somo somo jiken to wa. Mozart. Wolfgang A. Mozart. Gomen nasai, hen na koto itchatte. ダルそのケヘル番号っていうのはいくつまであるえっと最後が626番のレクイエムって書いてあるモーツァルトが死ぬ間際に書いていた曲ですね楓さん詳しいねほら私ピアノやってるからそれじゃあ K620 番は何ていう曲だ六百二十六百二十。おあったあった。マテキって曲みたい。Magic Flute。An opera written by Mozart in 1791. Its cocelle number is 620. Mozart was commissioned to write this opera for、uh, public consumption by the manager of the Viennese Opera House. But it's said that both he and the manager were members of the Freemasons. And the lyrics contain many allusions to Freemason symbols and teachings. The Queen of the Night. Aria is its most well known song. It has also been turned into a movie. Ooh. I thought it sounded familiar. I'd heard the name before, at least. Just look at that. I lo looked over Dara's shoulder at the screen. Clicked on the heading for the magic flute on Mozart's wiki page. Hey, we still got. At least we can call this wiki Japanese Wikipedia. Oh, wait. No, I'm sorry. It's WKI. WKI. The Magic Flute. K620. Written in 1791. Mozart's last completed opera. It was famous for including numerous examples of Freemason doctrine and symbols. 
A secret society founded sometime between the latter 16th century to the start of the 17th. It was said to be a union of stonemasons who built cathedrals, monasteries, palaces, and castles. Branches still exist all over the world, and the organization has over 6 million members. In conspiracy theories and fiction, it is often depicted as a terrifying secret organization that rules the world! Yes! Da Vinci Code! Yay! K Illuminati! The fifth song was a quintet called <laughs> Papa Keno, the bird catcher, has a padlock placed over his lips, and this is his song begging someone to open the lock. Mozart, Amadeus, Freemasonry, a padlock on his lips. <laughs> on his lips? Huh? No. Why does this all feel so creepy? So Illuminati. -y. And did I just talk to someone about Mozart? Oh. Maho. I, I seriously doubt that if... So if, if Leskin did have anything to do with this, I, I doubt Maho does. She's probably in the dark. Maho would use Soleri, Soleri, Mozart's rival, as her password to access Amadeus. But it could be something like maybe Leskin got her into Mozart for, you know, suggesting that He's also a Mozart fan, and he's the one who, who like, set everything up. On its own, that didn't mean anything, but... Come to think of it, Ma said that she lost access to Amadeus just before the attack last night, didn't she? Did she ever find out what caused it? I'd like to call her or contact her via Ryan. Girl! I put her number out of my contacts and called her. I made it through after a few calls. What? Something her irritation was plain from her voice, which meant that she was hadn't solved whatever the problem with Amadeus was. Amadeus Oh, which meant. So maybe they hacked into it then? But why? Huh. <laughs> she hung up on me. Hey! Does anybody say goodbye anymore? Mahoten?なんて?アマデウスが何者かによって乗っ取られたらしいって乗っ取りか。モーツァルトつながりで何か関連があるかと思ったが。Couldn't say anything yet. Fragments of these strange incidents were scattered all around me. That's how it felt. If I could pick up all the pieces and connect them, would I find the answer? For example, Yukimane's injured left arm. What did that mean? Mm -hmm. na, 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 na. Mm -hmm. Fine! Oh! Hello? Oh god, she looks sad! Robo Krisu, why are you sad? Oh god! Krisu! In that instant, I suddenly felt incredibly dizzy and everything went black. Oh god. Oh god! Oh wow, well, that, cha that changed the world line a lot for some reason. Oh god! I felt like I was floating up from the bottom of a black pit. My mind slowly began to clear. I slowly looked around the room. There was no way I could mistake it. This was the future gadget lab. The place I'd been just a moment ago. There was nothing unusual about it. Except for the fact that everyone was everyone was missing. Uh-oh. They'd been there just a moment ago, but now they were all gone. <laughs> I looked at the clock. It had been just about 3 p.m. when I had finished my call with Maho. Only a few minutes had passed. Even if I passed out, it was impossible to imagine all of them leaving me here. Which meant... Uh oh. I took a slow walk around the room. There were other strange things. Dar's PC, for example. 
There was a thin layer of dust on the keyboard. Oh dear. As if no one had used it for a while. And in the corner of the room, normally what was where, what, that was where Miyori put her bags. Paper bags where she always put the cosplay outfit she was working on. I'd seen them there just a moment ago, but now they were gone. Could this be? Mata. Son of a bitch! Why? Greasy's words from before. Why would Kreese say something like that? Did it have something to do with the world line shift? Took the phone out of my pocket and went to start the Amadeus app and then stopped. Oh my god, it doesn't exist anymore. The Amadeus icon was gone from my phone. My mind raced to try and come up with an explanation. But of course, I came up with nothing. I'm almost wondering actually if I didn't just just accidentally get an ending there. I mean, I had to ignore her there to continue with the main story, but now I've, I've got an ending or something. And to calmly find out what this world was like. I was about to walk towards the door to find out when I looked outside and everything's on fire! The back of the room. I heard the sound from the back of the development room, which no one ever used anymore. Oh, God. Someone was there. Who? Daru? Miyuri? I slowly approached. <laughs> Oh my god! I almost couldn't breathe. I never forgot. I'd never forgotten her. The girl standing there was Karisu Makise. Holy mother of fuck. What the fuck? Oh! The orbital eclipse. Okay, antinomic duel. Holy shit, okay. Well, maybe not then. Uh, hi. No. I want to call, I need to call Kurisu. <laughs> I just found Kurisu. Kurisu Makise was looking down at something. <laughs> Kurisu couldn't be here. Because she... She was dead. Was I seeing things? Was my desire to see her making me hallucinate? It seemed too, far too realistic to be a hallucination. Still, I felt that if I spoke a word, she'd disappear. I couldn't say a thing. What was she staring at? Not even moving a muscle. She was so still that I thought she might be in hallucination after all. But then... <sighs> she finally exhaled a little and slowly turned around. <laughs> oh god! Hey, we're using your old portraits again! <laughs> uh, oh. Aww. My throat was dry and I couldn't speak. <laughs> あ、あ、あ。受けましておめでとう。あ、あ。それにしても珍しいわね。あんたがここに顔出すなんて。あ、あ。岡部。クリス。クリス。<笑> なんだ。新年早々何言ってるのよ。大丈夫何か悪いものでも食べた何君のさえ気づく Aww. Oh, still wearing black. Even her warmth. It was an hallucination. Or an artificial intelligence on screen. It was the real Makise Karisu Makise. Aww. The real life Karisu Makise. <laughs> ね。
、もう、もう少しだけ、このまま。ああ。あんたもしかして泣いてるの I realized for the first time my cheeks were wet. <laughs> Aww. Yay! But what caused this and what's happened now? And oh god, everybody else is dead, aren't they? Put our soft hands on my back. <laughs> She whispered to me in a soft voice and patted me on the back and wrapped her arms around me like a kind mother holding a child. Aww. I finally calmed myself down. She was still there. Man, I have no fucking clue what's happening though. What the hell? How'd I get here? Why are you alive? Where'd everybody else go? She still existed. Now that I calmed down, I realized what that meant. Did he jump back to the beta world line again? So you could. Oh, God, I okay, yep. Ah, damn it. How do I get back here? Back to this fucking. Beta World Light! This World Light isn't that much better, honestly! Fuck! That's right. Kurisu was here. Which meant this was the Alpha- or the Alpha World Light. Sorry! I was- I'm in the Beta World Line. But this is- yeah, the Alpha World Line is where Miyuri got fucking wrecked. How did she die in this one? Mind telling me, Kurisu? She just came out and just spontaneously exploded one day. She's like, Get the real <laughs> Explode the real! The world without Miyuri. The world where Miyuri died. Some small part of me wished that this was the world beyond Stein's Gate. That it was a new future, which someone else had opened for me. But of course, that was too good to be true. There was no way for me to know when it happened. But I must have made my choice. To give up on Mayuri. There was the future where she was gone. <laughs> I fronted once more with the reality of Mayuri's death. My heart felt like it was about to burst. God damn it! <laughs> Akame's like, I cannot fucking put up with this much emotional anguish! So much tugging back and forth! My... <laughs> How had she died? <gasps> Okabe? Was it by train? Did they push her in front of a train? <laughs> She's having a panic attack. Did they shoot her? <laughs> <laughs> or Chris's tiny hand wrapped around mine. Little by little, my racing heart began to calm down. <laughs> I rummaged through my pocket and found a small box of pills. Mine! Oh, oh, oh. It was the same anxiety medication that I had already been taking. Oh, I see. That's why he's wearing black still. Because this time he's sad over Miyuri's death. Even in this world, I was still on the same drugs. Some things never change! Looked around the room while Carissa got me some water from the tap. Hey, Okabe. どうしてどうしてここに来たの？ここにはずっと寄りつかなかったでしょ？橋田も来なくなったし。誰も。え。The room was awfully clean then. I took a closer look and saw that there were a few places, like Daro's PC, that were covered in dust, but the rest seemed to have been regularly clean. I didn't have to ask who they were. Miri loved this place. 
She loved the Future Gadget Lab. She loved the time she spent with all the lab members here. I waited, but no answer ever came. What was she apologizing for? For talking about Miyuri? For making me remember? Or for making me choose? Chris. Ah. I feel like I say that a lot. <laughs> hey! Yeah? Nah, nothing. If I said something, she'd answer me right away. I could reach out and touch her. That alone brought me to the verge of tears. If I just stayed here, like this. <laughs> what was I thinking? I'd given up on everything and left her to die. And still, I was happy to be back in this world line, with Karisu. As I was sad over our losing Miyuri, part of me was thinking I wanted to stay here. Even though I didn't have the right. If there was a god in this world, it must be a cruel, twisted being. Why was he doing this to me again? Was what I'd done that wrong? I had already made my choice once. There was no way to save the world. There was no way to save Kurisu. But... With Kurisu in front of me, I was already starting to waver. Should I go back to the Beta World Line? Should I send the D-mail? <laughs> the D-mail? So, the phone wave no longer existed, it seemed. Of course it didn't. Its mere existence had made us a target of CERN. But without it, I couldn't leave this world line on my own. How'd he get here? Someone else must have done something, right? But his consciousness still traveled to the other world line as well. So even if I did stay here in this world line, it wouldn't be my responsibility. Was it my fault? It was something I'd wanted. Which meant... Hmm, okay. So maybe this is how Kagri ends up getting born or something? Like... This this world line got formed. There was a, there was a, a a time when he chose uh, to pick up his phone, right? And that sent him here. I, I feel like this is still leading to an ending. Now he stays with her, uh, with Karisu, and then they eventually give birth to Kagari. I, I feel like that's how this is gonna go. That Kagari's gonna end up being their daughter, and somehow Kagari got moved to uh, the Beta world line. <laughs> Not exactly sure how. Isn't that, that what Carisi would always made me do? Two cubes of sugar, no milk. Yeah, I should go. I want to get outside and think th things through. Milk to Sato no Haita, a mayatsne. Milk to Hirena in Janakatanoka. I stood up and headed for the door, but turned around halfway. <laughs> felt like if I took my eyes off her, she'd disappear. But that was far too embarrassing to say. Okabe? Huh? <laughs> My whole body relaxed the second I stepped outside of the lab. Evidently, meeting the living Carisu had made me really tense. I didn't know how to talk to her or what to say anymore. Even though I spoke to Karisu like it was the most normal thing in the world. <sighs> Still couldn't believe, couldn't believe it, though. Was this really the Alpha World line? No. If Karisu was here, it had to be. But then why? Who would cause the world line change, and how? Help 
The call from Karisu. Was that what triggered it somehow? No, just stop thinking about it. If someone else had caused it somehow, I shouldn't get involved anymore. I didn't want to. I didn't want to overthrow the structure of the world anymore. I just want to live in peace. A universe with no world lines or attractor fields. World line convergence zone. This is the standard accepted model for quantum physics in 2036 after the many worlds interpretation and the Copenhagen interpretation. It is a deterministic interpretation where many world lines gather into a world branch called an attractor field. This so attractor field is simply a zone in which all world lines will eventually reach the same end result. Major splits in the world line at the attractor field level are called world line trunks. One pre-2010 example of a world line trunk is the year 2000. And then another example, right, of, of the attractor field convergence is, uh, uh, the death of Miuri, right? At least in the Alpha world line. I stopped letting the whims of fate rule my, rule my life. There was nothing left that I could do. <laughs> Suddenly, something seemed very wrong. Chris's words a moment ago. What are they meant? She couldn't mean to. Oh, God. Turn around and rush back into the lab. She's not planning to kill herself, is she? Chris! Oh! Chris! Oh, uh, oh, oh, she was just where I'd seen her the first time, staying around, looking toward the back of the development room. Oh, there's the fucking microwave. The depths of the darkness. I spot that was just a moment ago had been covered by cloth. I saw an old microwave with this door taken off. What's a microwave? Tell me. I have no idea. A phone wave needs something to change. Future gadget number eight. It's the gadget that had changed my fate. No, the fate of the world. どうしてそれはハキシさんじゃなかったのか。ええ。ハキシタはこれは私が新しく作り直したの。言ってみれば電話レンジ買いね。正しくはカッコ仮が付くんだった。それなら電話レンジカッコ仮買いになる。名前なんてどうだっていい。作り直したってどうしてそんなことを過去にメールを送るためよ。メールを送って世界線を変えるの。うん。あんたにとっては戻すって言った方がいいのかもね。世界線をこれ完成したのはね。実は一ヶ月以
その世界を選択したってことでしょ She was so far beyond what I could hope to be. In this brief moment, she discovered all that. She was right about everything. But even so, I couldn't let her know. Admitting that would mean admitting that I had left her to die. There's no way I could do that. In the end, that was all I said. But that was an admission, all the same. But instead of looking sad, she. She tried to cheer me up. That's right. Grisu was right. I was the one who chosen the beta world line. But. それにね。あんたは多分間違ってなかった。さっき来たばっかりのあんたは知らないだろうけど。この半年間。あんたはずっと自分を責めてた。そんなそぶり。私には決して見せようとしなかったけど。私はベイトワールドマン。どうしてあげることもできなかった。だってあんたの苦しみは私のせいだから。私を生かすために、あんたは苦しんでたんだから。でもね、それも今日で終わり。終わりにしなきゃいけないのよ。だって、このままじゃ
Why are you wrong? She doesn't know anything. Because that's what I wanted. I want her to know nothing and be happy. For now, that wish was still coming true, but... I finally met her again, but she was here, alive, right in front of me, but... She walked up to me without even trying to hide her frustration. だって、もう。さあ。Feel the strength of her will, her resolve. I remember what I'd seen just after I'd come to this wor world line. Chris had just been standing there in front of the phone wave. Thinking back, she'd probably already made her decision. Without anyone knowing. Without anyone to say goodbye to. She'd chosen to go to a world where she would no longer exist. It'd probably taken her a long time and a lot of struggle to come to that decision. She probably asked herself a thousand times if it was really the right answer. So if, if if his mind switched to this side, though, I mean that means that the other Okabe did actually come here of his own uh, own will as well, though, right? If this is what she chosen after all. I didn't have the right to stop her. I'd be wrong. ねえ、岡部。夢から覚める前に一つ約束して。約束。データ世界線に行ったら私のことは忘れなさい。it's just the opposite of what she said that day. That day, the day when I chose the Bay of World line, she said to me, that's right, don't forget me. But now she was asking for the opposite. She was always like that. She always cared more about others than herself. She always sacrificed herself. She was asking me this for my sake only. She didn't want to be forgotten. She hated being forgotten more than anyone else could. She was stubborn and bullheaded. I would never be able to forget her. But That's all I could do to keep from breaking down. But that was probably the same for her. She turned around and stuck out her pinky finger. She forced it around mine. Oh. Yubiki <laughs> Her hand moved away from mine. Her gaze looked away from me. It was almost time to say goodbye. She was sending a message to the past. I knew it was the right thing to do. I knew this was what she wanted, but still. Okay. My voices overlapped. Name of the person I care for. Aww. Name of the person I loved. ねえ。あんたは覚えてる私と初めて会った時のこと。忘れられるわけがない。何しろ強烈だったからな。それを言うならあんたの方こそ。あの時はまさか。<笑> Would lead to meeting someone so important to me. Not that I'd say I said it now. I couldn't say it, but.
in for a little. Just for a second. Just for an instant. If it would last just a little longer. Her voice. そんな風に<笑> Just a little longer, so that I can remember it all. But I was out of time. Those words were the sign that the magic was over. Oh. There were a million things I wanted to say, but I stopped myself. Grace smiled, satisfied, and turned back toward the phone wave. She probably had the mas message ready. But we start to boom and crackle like thunder. There was a long, long countdown. The whole time Kurisu faced away with from me. And I just watched. The noise got louder. The countdown continued. And then, it was time. Okabe. Kurisu turned around with a big smile on her face. Her voice was cut off by the roar. Or did I just go right back to where I was? And then I... I woke up from my short dream. <laughs> Color gradually returned to my blacked out vision. The lamp started to come back into focus. I could tell immediately the world line had changed. I could still see Carissa when I closed my eyes. But she wasn't in the development room anymore. It's like the whole thing had been a daydream. It felt like I'd been caught in the boundary between dreaming and wakefulness. I was back. Back to the world without Carissa. This wasn't the Alpha world line. There was no point in even bothering to check. A moment ago, only Carissa and I had been in this room. And now everyone was here. Okari, what Still probably gonna need to do something though about uh, freaking uh, what happened with Amadeus, right? Oh, no, no, no! Sorry, I, I, I hit the wrong button. I was trying to pull up my phone. I hit L1, which zooms through it. Miyari. Lukaku and Kagurishina. Mira and Kaguru here, the Mentos back to the beta world line. Oh, wait. That was fucking tough. That was rough. Mabel helped him mo motivate Okuri and help him get past his grief some. Having, having seen Kurisu a little bit and getting her pep talk. It does make me wonder, though, then, like, how did he get there, right? That's the big question. And I can't pull my phone out. But, guys, it seems like a good place to end things here for now. Holy crap. So many questions abound. Mysteries abound. I really... I felt like a, like, man, that, that shit came out of fucking nowhere. Like, we were already in the middle of stuff that said, like, boom! By the way, Chris, wants to have a word with you, Okabe. Ooh, it's good. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm excited to see where the story goes from here. But anyway, guys, uh, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not already become a Picky Penguin. For this LP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time... Stay classy!